Hey guys, this is Matthias, and I've been playing a little bit on and off with the Hornet missiles again uh, for the last couple of weeks, and uh, they are actually quite useful uh, since they were buffed. And uh, yeah, they're they're an anti-vehicle weapon. They are uh, laser guided, so yeah, what that means is that you have to maintain your aim on the target until the rockets actually hit. And yeah, it's quite similar to the AV turret of the engineer class and some other rockets. So now the usefulness against the infantry is basically the same as with any other AV weapon. As long as you can hit your targets, you will do well with them. But uh, you cannot really rely on the splash damage unless you can shoot uh, several rockets at the same target. Which is very risky because it takes a long time and normally if you are struggling a little bit with your aim, you also f uh, probably have to force yourself to hover while shooting and that makes you a very easy target. If you feel like you're willing to take a few risks, you might use them as well against anti-air maxes. Otherwise, uh, I would say the easiest way to kill maxes with an ESF is like this, by road killing. Now, it is of course, there are of course many situations where you can't do that, but when you can, it is quite satisfying. So let's uh, take a look at what these babies can do uh, at its intended purpose. Here are some unexpected mag riders, and uh, they are, I don't know, for whatever reason, they are making themselves very easy targets for me here. Very unusual, but it serves as a very good example for the usefulness of these weapons against tanks. And don't let that needler kill fool you, almost all the damage there was done with the Hornet missiles. Now, killing tanks from an ESF with uh, nothing shooting you back is something that almost never happens. If you take just a small amount of fire while uh, you're doing this, you might want to just uh, try the old school kind of air to ground technique, uh, that's what I used to call it, because yeah, it's what most people used to do back in the days before anti-air was as strong as it is. And basically you get into hover mode such as this and you kind of have to burn around the target. Uh, it makes it a little bit harder for inexperienced players to hit you, but it really doesn't work against flak. What the fuck? These things actually kill something. So yeah, when I recorded these uh, first clips here I had barely even used the Hornets at all. And uh, I was very surprised that there was an, an actual air to ground weapon for the ESF that was useful. Of course, any Skyguard or Burster Max will kill an ESF much faster than the Hornet's missiles will kill a tank. But if you can surprise your uh, opponent, or if you come in, can come in from an angle where your opponents don't suspect you, then they're actually quite good. Like always, uh, with an ESF, you either want to fly really high or very low. Now, flying low like this is of course to break line of sight from flak lock-ons and uh, yeah, small arms fire. And uh, when you fly really high, that's of course for another purpose. But I found that uh, if I fly somewhere in the middle, uh, that's when I end up in most uh, trouble. Now here are some of the players uh, that spawn into that thunder there. They have of course spotted me. And in this case they are shooting me with lock-ons. And I'm trying to use this little hill to break line of sight. The problem of course is that the velocity of these Hornet missiles are so, uh, so slow or so low that uh, in many cases you just can't get behind cover. Fuck you guys! Yeah, a little unintended air stunt there. Um, yeah, I thought both of those rockets was going to hit me. Uh, luckily, only one of them did, so I can continue putting some pressure on this uh, Sunderer. Now, to be perfectly honest, I have very little experience with these Hornet missiles, and uh, if I continue working with them and figure out how to use them more effectively, I'll probably come up with a tutorial, however this video is just going to serve as a gameplay video. So eventually I got a little bit fed up with this uh, uh, going in and out of cover from the seal and I decided uh, to use another strategy. And uh, this is another way to do it. Uh, again, this does not work if they have anti-air maxes nearby because they will just kill you. But in this case they seem to be preoccupied with a lot of other stuff, which is lucky for me. As you can see, it's uh, quite easy for a few engineers to out-repair um, the damage from the Hornets. But with the help of, I think it's a couple of harassers, maybe a lightning or two, where we're, we were actually able to take it out. Now in this situation, they actually decided to spawn a, a site to take me out rather than uh, anti-air. And uh, I didn't uh, want to challenge the site here. I had already taken damage when he attacked me and I had used my fire suppression. However. I was at least able to help take out the Sunday. No. 
Don't go fire now. Help me, Skyguard. Help. Come on, we're you, you faggot. We have to. Oh, can we take out the tur uh, the turret? Fed, yeah, fed, yeah. Fed, fed, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? Did you hit it? Yeah, twice. All right, all right. I was wondering how fucking powerful this. So we'll continue here from another fight, and uh, in this case, I'm shooting um, first with the rockets, and then I try to finish the target off with the needler. It works uh, pretty good in some situations, but I'm also working together here with a very experienced liberator team. So uh, yeah, they have the Dalton and the tank buster, and we're trying to go for the same targets. You want to skill me with the shotgun harrow, sure. Perfect. Oh, there's a uh, Vanguard Top here? Vanguard I'm shooting Top two Hornets on it. Do you want to finish it, Bottled? Now is the time? Yeah, there's just... Yeah, yeah, yeah kill it, kill it, kill it, I can't. So yeah, now one of the most important things now uh, when you are an ESF pilot is to be able to surprise your opponents. Being sneaky, coming in from unexpected angles or whatnot, and uh, that's what you're gonna see me attempt to do here. I've noticed a Sunderer up on the ridge here, and I wanna try to take it out without being hit by lock-ons and flak. And that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching, and yeah, bye for now. Not sure what you mean. Enemy spawn point identified. Like, you know, in the chat box, the font's quite big, even I'm when I've seen everything else, I can't see that much. Changes like from patch to patch. Yeah. It's like two patches ago, it was super small. Enemy Can I get an invite? Yeah, hang on. He's always pretty fucked up.